Hey, 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 I'm Al Cavadlo, and you're watching Ask Al. I recently received a message from a Facebook follower named Boris, who wants to know how jacked can you get just training calisthenics? Hey, 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 Boris, how jacked can you get just with calisthenics? Well, as jacked as you can get training with weights. Let me explain. All forms of strength training operate under the same principle of progressive overload. What this means is you break your muscles down by forcing them to work at or close to their full capacity, and then you give them some time to recover. When you do strength training, all your muscles know is that you're asking them to work really hard and that they're going to have to find a way to adapt and get stronger in case you ask them to do it again. They don't know or care if that resistance is coming from an external load or from your own body weight. Now, of course, some people do tend to develop more impressive physiques than others, and it makes sense to think that their specific training methods might be one of the factors that's impacting that. But I would actually argue that your individual modality is one of the least important factors in how much mass you can gain. You know how everybody has eyes and a nose and a mouth, but we all have different faces. The same is true of our bodies as well. We all have the same muscles in the same places, but we don't all look exactly the same. It's not hard for people to understand that I got a big nose due to genetics, but for some reason, people can't seem to wrap their head around the fact that my chest is shaped the way it is mainly because of genetics and not because I have some super secret push-up routine that I'm keeping all to myself. Now just to be clear, this doesn't mean that anyone is genetically incapable of being fit. It's just that some people have more of a predisposition for mass than others. The other thing to keep in mind is that when you're lean, you can see your muscles more and you appear to be more jacked than you may actually be. Proportions can also throw off your perspective on how big somebody is. Sometimes people meet me and they say to me, Ah, I thought you were going to be bigger because maybe they saw some photos of me that were taken at a flattering angle. Then you see me next to some huge guys and it's obvious how small I actually am. For the record, both the guys in that last photo are calisthenics buddies of mine. The takeaway here is to try not to compare yourself to everybody else all the time but just to try to be the best you that you can be, even if you'll never be as big as all Arnie, or even all Al. Well, that's all the time I've got. If you've got questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, I'm Al Cavadlo, and we're working out.